anyway so that's this i also wanted to actually try this ink on the tracing paper and see how that would look so i'm going to use what i have on here with a bit more water just to activate it and we know that obviously tracing paper doesn't like much moisture because what starts happening is that it goes all crinkly but sometimes it can look quite nice so i'm just going to lift it and you can see that it's rolling up on me like that so i'm going to try and dry it and then once it's dried i'm going to go ahead and use more on top so it's an interesting um, look where you can see that the pigment has settled in some of these areas and then let's try doing it again here see if we can build it up on tracing paper maybe i also use some other colors on top of it actually so i'm going to wipe this so i don't contaminate these colors and see how um i don't know should i use orange yeah i'll use the orange one so a little bit of this spiced marmalade and we're just going to go ahead and drop some of it off like that and then use some of this over here as well in attempt of keeping some of the yellow background and just adding and adding okay, so while this one is drying i thought what i'm going to do is actually um pull out my md cotton notebook and see how the paper how this paper reacts to this ink so i'm going to go right to the back and i have a little bit of of this ink left so i'm just going to do a nice bit of a stamp image and see how this looks So Tim Holtz always encourages that if you don't like, yes, it does bleed through a little bit. It actually bled through onto this page as well. So this paper doesn't seem to like the distress inks, but it's all about trial and error. So as Tim Holtz always encourages is if you want to create something, if, if you're not fully happy with a print, you can then continue working with it so i'm just going to add some of this yellow and lift okay so it's looking lovely however i want a bit more orange and you can just play with it as much as you want so i'm just going to add a little bit of orange a bit of water And then just do these kind of like splatters. They look nice. I like this effect a lot. And then just go ahead and create little ones here and there. So you have to be quite careful with this. It's, um, it's a messy process. It does bleed through for sure. And I'm just going to clean this paper this plastic um, it does transfer so if you are ready for it and you protect the previous page then you can deal with it I mean it does create lovely abstract washes and images so you can see how beautiful these oxidized um, speckles look and if I wanted to go ahead and then add some pink and things like that I still could do that so as a little play um, page that looks really nice but what I want to try it on now is actually the Tamoy River paper because you know that's something I enjoy working on sometimes as well so let me just try and find a sketchbook that isn't 
used up yet okay so this one has a bit of mixed everything so this is tamoy river paper and let's see how the ink would behave on here and in fact just as a caution i'm going to protect this paper underneath and let's see what happens so i could maybe use this print in in an illustration so i'm not going to do more than that i think just a couple more here and that's it okay okay so surprisingly enough tomorrow river yet again has surprised me by not not reacting the same way as the other paper did although it's thinner so actually let's see if we can go even further and this time apply a little bit more so i'm just going to kind of treat it like i would treat the other papers so i'm just going to do a little bit of this and that's plenty as you can see Okay, so even with that amount of water, there is no bleed through. It's remarkable. Okay, so um, I'm thinking of like, I think I'll create like a headpiece out of this, but I do want to use up just a couple more of these platters before I move on to a little bit of orange. I think the key with the Moy River paper, if you use the heat tool, and um, you can, you know, keep on building and use actually quite a lot of watercolour, which is very surprising when it comes to the thinness of the paper. Anyhow, so I'm trying to give you as much information so that you whoop, can go ahead and start creating. Okay, so nothing, no bleed through at all. Wonderful, I kept on building and building and the paper actually dries a lot flatter than the this one. So this one doesn't like as much water. You can, you can see here, this is how it dried. Um, it still looks all right. I do like how it looks on the paper, but you have to be prepared for a lot of bleed throughs basically um so and then this one has buckled a little bit here but like at the bottom and mostly it's a flat page just this bit has buckled a little bit so great okay i can use this somewhere else and then Okay, so this is the tracing paper and this is what it's looking like. It still has a few areas here uh, which are not done yet in terms of drying. But I do like the effect. I mean, like I said before, you know, you have to be prepared that tracing paper will um, buckle a lot and it just um, becomes all wrinkly. But you can uh, try and iron it or something like that to make it flat again and then look at this actually on the other side so this is the oxide um, oxidation rather on top and then you can see that at the bottom 
this is where the pigment has settled and where it's so nice and bright so it's the the oxide that comes through to the top is here so this is what your paper looks like and then at the bottom of it you get the pigment that settles and the oxidation comes above it so I hope that makes sense. So you could use both sides, whichever you prefer, either the brighter one or the milkier one. You can do similar things just with regular watercolor, by the way. I used to do it back in college, um, just creating lovely little uh, effects. And then you can even um, take your stitching machine and just run through it and create a little something, something. So I hope you found this useful, <laughs> 101 ways of using distress excites and yes thanks for watching and see you soon